Hello everyone, my name is Sukhraj. In last video, we have learned how we can reverse array. In this video, we will learn how we can reverse array without using any new array. So, I have now a new method where we are going to reverse the array without any use of new array. So, how we can do it? So, this is also very important interview question among the uh, mang and fang type of organizations like uh, facebook amazon so this type of questions even in uh, other organization like uh, mdocs accenture they are also ask this type of questions so here first we will write the logic and then i will go line by line first i am taking the length divided by 2 and i am giving it as the middle after defining the middle so middle is just a like index, uh, middle index of the original array now we need to take two more variable one is the temp just to hold the value and another is let's say j it will be the reverse index of the i mean the uh, let's say uh, maximum index of the array so to get the end or max index of the array we are just going to array dot length minus one now in the for loop here we will say middle here till the index is less than middle we will go for this condition and here we are taking the value from the original array from i and storing it inside the temp and then from the in the i we are storing the new value that of j now inside the index of j we are again putting the value of temp when we are saying j minus minus so this is the logic that will reverse the original array without the use of new array now we will understand this logic here we are taking the middle index like here our middle index will be now as we are dividing by 2 so in that case it will always return the integer value now here total length is 5 when we are going to divide the 5 by 2 it will return 2 by 5 what we are taking the integer here so it will return 2 so middle will be here 2 so it means this for loop will execute two times only right and after that uh, we are taking the j so j here is taking the length so index will be 0 1 2 3 4 so j will have the value of 4 so it's it's going by index now inside the loop what we are doing we are picking the value of first element 7 and putting inside the temp after that we are putting, uh, getting the value of 2 from the last index and then putting this value at the first place and whatever the value we have picked from the first place which we was put in the temp now we are putting at the last index that is where the first value was 2 now we have replaced these two values 7 with 2 and after that we have reduce the value of j index by 1 now its value was 4 now it will be 3 next time now here i is 1 so it means we are picking the value of 3 and putting it in the temp then now j is what is this 3 so it means index 3 value is here so now we are getting the value 6 and putting it here it means we are replacing 6 and 3 with each other and then we are saying j minus minus and in the next condition now middle is 2 so it this condition will not true it will not go further so it means what is what actually it is working in this case from the middle let's say this is the middle it is considering this as a one array and this is another array and it is replacing the first element of the first array which was 7 with the last element of the second array which was 2 so it it is means to the original array it is it is working the logic in the way that it is considering two array and replacing their values first index with the last index and then 
first index plus 1 with the last index minus 1. So in this way we can reverse the array without making the use of any another new array. Let's try on it. Now both the method this one reverse array as well as reverse array without array without uh, the new array working in the same way. C seven three four six two. So this is very important interview question. When we are put when interviewer put the question like how we can reverse the array, mostly we give the answer this one. But then interview ask okay, reverse the array without make the use of new array. So in that case we can go with this. That's all in this video. Thank you.